heard of prayer flags? No. And, well, this is the one I made. Well, but when the Tibetan monks came to town, we got to, everyone got to print a design on fabric, and they already had this design all, it was like hand carved, it's supposed to be very old. And when they came, I learned from the monks that they paint with sand, and it's colored sand, and they do it with like a little straw or a little stick. <laughs> well, the whole, the whole time that they're uh, making these uh, paintings, they're saying special prayers, you know, and so your intention is very important. So we're going to set our intention. And what an intention, do, do you know what an intention is? No. Uh, I mean, it's you, little muffin. You're paying attention well, to something. Well, that's actually pretty good. That's very good. You're paying attention to what's going on in the universe. You're paying attention to the light, your own life force. What the prayer flags do, you're supposed to hang these in the wind. And the wind blows and blows. And so whatever you want to wish for, you put into the flag. And then God or the universe. What would you wish for yourself if you could wish anything? I could tell you secrets. And these are painting paintings with wax. I want to take this one. Feel how stiff it is. It's real stiff because the wax. this one. Okay. Well, we're going to make our own. We're, we're going to color with these these are Crayolas you guys want to feel them and you just get everyone has a ton of Crayolas and so what you do is you have your mom grate them with the cheese grater and you put them in these little muffin pans and then we're going to do um, printmaking because see this is what that is and we're gonna roll paint on this and everyone will get one of these and then we're gonna print our design like that on the fabric. Does everyone have a paintbrush? Yes! Alright. But the way I'm going to do this, and don't be afraid to put it on the cardboard, it's alright. But I'm just going to, just we're going to paint on this. What's really neat about this is that, do you see how the color changes? Now, what we're going to have to do is you, you have to kind of work a little bit fast when you want to put it on your fabric. And this is where you're going to have to use a little bit of pressure. Now, this is my most favorite part. Woo! And see how, see the different colors? So pretty. Oh, I love color. breaths and these are going to be wish flags that we blow out in the wind and uh, you know Dylan is sad right now which kind of is a coincidence although there are no such things as coincidences everything is there to teach us something but a lot of times people are when you're sad is when you really want that wish to come true so we'll make a wish. I'll do a wish for you, Dylan. Do you want me to do the butterfly? Or do you? Okay. I know how to make the butterfly. Oh, well then, of course, you do it. And I then I'll do to make the butterfly. Okay. And if you hold it like this, it, it'll it keep your paper. And don't make it too detailed because we're going to then fill it in with the shape Crayola. And we're going to fill in the spaces. Just like the Tibetan monks did when they came to Kansas City. And they filled in their design with sand. And we're going to pretend like this is sand, colored sand. This, with this, we just do a little tiny bit, probably like this. Because when we melt it, it's going to smear. And you know what? Because you're doing butterflies, and if you smear it out, if you add other colors to it, it's going to look really pretty, like a real butterfly. Did you know that everything has a vibration? And if you make things when you're happy, other pe there are some people that can feel it. 
Have you ever gone to a, see someone's art and some things make you really sad and some things make you happy? Now, the reason that we put wax down, wax paper, is because you don't want it to melt onto your iron. Now, for an extra technique, you can squish it up, which is going to cause cracks in the wax, and then you can dip it in a dye bath. You can also spread it around with your spoon. Yeah. But you know, if you don't have wax paper, you can use uh, newspapers, and that's a great form of recycling. See what I mean? And it almost looks like tie dye. What do you girls think of that? Whoa. You put it on the towel. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Sometimes when you lift up your design, your print, and you see the towel, the towel looks just as cool as. The towel is going to be. You're going to make the towel. So, Penny, I'm going to use this newspaper. Well, when the wax is too thick, I think it's much better to use a newspaper than. Uh, the wax paper. Whoa! <laughs> That's so neat. I think oh, I get it just as like excited. But if you look at it real closely, you see all the different colors. Look at the bottom and it's look at so, the top and look. And you know what? I I've never done this before. But when she blew it into it, 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 it almost looks like the shape of a heart. Yeah, no. Whoa! I love that. That's my favorite part is the unveiling.